All right, so next, pay band. Pay band. He's not here. The gentleman, you? No. Okay. You know it all. So the All right. Why'd you let him out? Just let the door open. <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do, folks, you got people not going to get getting paid here shortly. Well, what, unless y'all are going to any kind of executives, there's just what I was hearing, and 15, you have 17 people outside the table. Basically, some people, 67 people, about 50 of them. Um, once you all adjust it to pay band to the minimum being the minimum and the maximum being the average, it took about 50 of them out, outside of the band. It took about 50 people. Yeah. 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 took 50 people that were outside of it. It, 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 gave, it expanded so down there. It leaves at 15. Yeah, they're okay. Okay, yeah. 17. It's yeah. 17 people yeah. that that are inside of it. I, you know, discuss if yeah, you guys are going to um, leave the maximum pay at the average. We have 17 people that are currently outside of the pay band. Some of these people, again, as I said, uh, do multiple dues. Some of these people have their pay based on their longevity. Um, some of these people just a few dollars outside of the pay band. Some of them are seven to ten thousand dollars outside of the pay band. I don't know how you guys want to deal with these seven things. But as I discussed with you all, uh, besides agreeing that we should look at um, the maximum of the study, if we're not going to do that. The bottom line of it is I discussed with you all to um, agree with Dr. Thomas and, 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 and unchanging any of the people's current pay. If we need to go to a system that the person uh, is paid either 10% uh, higher uh, than what their pay, pay is now, that all those come to the council, if we uh, give an increase above 5% or whatever that is, that it goes to the council before there are any other increases, and freezing these people who are outside of the pay band, and any of these 17 have to come to you There are ways that we can go about it without um, taking these people's pay back down. Because a lot of people have been at that pay uh, for three or more years. A lot of people have been at that pay all the way back to two other mayors besides myself outside of pay band. Uh, I'm just dealing with the people who have their pay may be outside since this administration. But of these 17, some of these people have been working here for 12 years. So it goes back to two other mayors. So the importance of that is if you guys call on what we set with this pay band, but I don't think we should change any of these people's pay because most of them have been handling the pay for three years or longer and they have set up their household expenses and income off of those, um, um, you know, those salaries. And the bottom line of it is all these people who have had their pay adjusted, we have had to have business role to deal with the data that we see that we have their salaries the way they, they, they are. And some of the people came in to their positions with their salaries um, above. And that has been the same practice of the city in recruiting people to pay them sometimes with other people prior to them. At the end of the day, I'm asking, just like the other 50 people, that we uh, come to some agreement today on what we do with these last 17 people. And also know that uh, when you all set the pay at the average, a lot of those people that are still now outside of it, the next time they get any type of cost of living adjustment at all, uh, they're going to be outside of the pay band. So we're going to have to still have people the next time do any type of 2% or 1% or 2.5% or total increase. You're going to still have a lot of people that then are uh, far again and fall outside of the pay band. Um, so we put together of uh, these 17 people um, with the, the, the salary and how far they are out of the, the pay scale. Uh, but it's you all determination of how you all are. If we stay, what you all stay with the other 50, 
we got these 17 people that are going to be outside of the paper, and, and we're going to have to adjust them according to whatever you all tell us today. Uh, okay. we're, we're ready to move forward with whatever decision is made today or next on the 18th or 15th when we meet and, and get this behind us, whatever direction you all go. Okay, I'm going to suggest we council officially approve their pay at the level they are now for the person, not for the position. And I want to adjust positions. I want to adjust these people, um, which will allow them to keep getting what they're getting. If a raise comes along and goes outside the pay band, and they're outside the pay band, they won't get a raise. They'll get what they're getting now. But if if it comes along and you say there's going to be a 2% increase in your pay and they're already outside the pay band, they would not get that 2%. They'd get what they're getting now. How long would that pay be frozen? It'd be frozen until they leave that position. Because I, I, I if you, you're not authorized, you are facing a real problem when you set pay bands and then you start going outside of those pay bands. It's a real problem now if the council won't come back another time when raises are given <coughs> and authorize that you have to come back in eventually to put them outside that pay band again. You can't just keep, you, it just doesn't keep rolling. If they, out, they got outside the pay band inappropriate, but they're back. Yeah, okay. outside the pay band based on the council approving the civil service handbook and the employee handbook, which it says, May, but it says shall. Employees that have additional duties shall be given an increase in pay. And that's where this comes from. Is we're complying with the policy that the voting approved on by the county. But that what we approve is supposed to follow the law. And the law says that if there's a cap in place, you all are supposed to come back before us just like you did for the engineer. Just like you did for the engineer, and say, "Hey, this is we're wanting to give this person uh, adjustment or whatever the case may be." We, we didn't get that. We just got. I understand. I understand. Uh, we need to change that in the handbook, but uh, according to law, and I don't know why our attorneys did not catch that, but according to law, we are not supposed to pay anybody over whatever the cap was. Um, Right. which has gotten us in this predicament that we're in right now. Um, is it fair? But going back to other people that's performing multiple duties, since we've opened up this can of worms, uh, it's been brought to my attention, I don't know who else it might have been brought to, but it's been brought to my attention that there are several employees doing multiple things that they are not being paid for. Um, so if we're talking about fairness, we need to address that as a whole. Um, that, that, that has come up since the council has brought this forward and brought that to our attention. That's when we uh, stopped complying with civil service handbook and employee handbook is when that was brought forward. That's when we stopped it. And we told the individual, like right now, Mr. Joanne's former job. We still have an individual down there that's doing two jobs. And it is still not really compensated for those jobs. You know, we don't have the ability to advertise that job because the pay is so low. Right now, we we're about to lose two IT. So, jobs. since we made the salary adjustment, the pay shouldn't be so low now. We, right, we've so we already give that individual an adjustment. To support no, we're not salary. saying that. We're not saying that we're about to give anybody any raises. But the last council meeting, or whenever it was, we adopted the yeah. a salary. Increase. We adopted that average. Y'all froze. Uh, we froze. Only people. Only people. Only people that that everything is still frozen as far as trying to keep these seventeen that are still above uh, what we amended, what we adjusted. So I guess I, my concerns is is this. All right. So we're we're looking through this. We have people listed that are doing multiple duties and so forth and so on. And some of these are just really, really high. I mean, way over. And I don't think that that's really fair um, to other people who are, who are doing multiple things and to be so 
outrageously over the the salary cap. Um, and reviewing what was paid in some of these positions previously and to make those jumps as high as some of these are. Uh, the only ones that I'm interested in possibly keeping as is would be the ones, this stack right here that says council approved, uh, council approved pay increases that uh, 10 years experience. Council approved pay increase. Council approved. So how do we have some that have council approved pay increases and some that just whatever is going Council on. approved pay increase, mm -hmm. it, it should have been reflected on their pay band that that was adjusted. So if the council was approved to giving someone a 2% raise, that is council approving. That's what I'm saying. Those people should be adjusted to whatever. Like this one is just fifty-eight dollars different than what the average that we. If, if the that council approves that person getting a raise, mm -hmm. then the council has approved continuing paying that person at the updated pay. Outside of the current pay band that was recently set by the council. Right. These are people that for whatever their amount is still over the average. average. So those are the people have a resolution authorizing to pay them what the council. Right, this, yeah. this, this thing. That's I'm the ones that say, huh? I'm Executive session to talk about each employee's. Uh, 
government the executive says about personnel performance. We can go ahead and talk about personnel performance, but not their effects on the The performance would help help us understand clearly what all they do and so forth and so on. We don't necessarily have to discuss the salary. Can we have a special we, call meeting before the payroll day? Or do we need to, on this agenda, push these nine or however many this is to February 1? Can you amend the agenda? No, I'm talking about the, the agenda for Tuesday. We can add this as an item for Tuesday's vote next Tuesday. I just, I just don't want these people to get their next paycheck and be reduced. Well, they may end up being that way if you read the council and the court to do that. Yeah, that's, 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 that's okay. That's what you get talking about. Right, one of them, um, the one that, um, is that, well, that, is that, that not in that stack? The, the one yeah. that the lawyer said that we had to honor that one should have been in that. If you're moving to, to, if you're moving to a lower posi a position of lower pay under civil service rules, you still have to be paid up what your, your, I think that's in that stack. Yeah, that's in that stack. And that would be complying with the, the law. But so that, that would be handled. Yeah, I think there's two of those. If you if you're at a similar civil service, that one should be uh, Randy. That person should be in there too.
based on the new one. Based on the new pay band are now within the pay scale. Yes, the one sir. that's within should have been taken out okay, of this we day. Need to take, there are a couple of them that are in temporary assignments, uh, Christy, that are now within the new pay band. That's um, uh, but, but, but they're within the new pay band. Right, they the shouldn't have been in this. They but, shouldn't have been in so the 17. Right, when we gave y'all the original 70 list, we just kept it to the, the pay band. But those Christy that are temporary. All, all the ones that we have are. are like over that are the pay band should not be in the 17. We have at least two, three, or four that are like that. According to what we have, this has the, the average here, and then it says what they're over the average. So this is this is what we approved, and this is them still being over the average. These other nine. Those are the ones we're saying that we can go ahead and, and up there to, to meet where we are now. The ones that the mayor. The ones that I handed to Ms. Black. Oh, that ain't our friend. Is it legal to do individual? I know you mentioned the law. Yeah, it is, as long as there's a factual determination maybe that's non discriminatory. So if we go to the individual route, whoever we're discussing, are they allowed to be in a representative themselves? So the council, I mean, the council right. determines the, the who says they or don't have to have anybody, anybody except the council. Right. Right. We, we, it could just be us in the room. It's whoever we want to be in the room. Yeah. Council either has to 
approved. It doesn't matter if there's a cost of living or performance rates. Council just has to approve particular paving or individuals pay. So council in the past has increased someone's pay to the cost of living. Right. That is a valid increase. Right. So those, those people right there are the ones that we would like to keep uh, to adjust their pay up to match the um, salary listed. These other nine are the ones that we will be going into executive session on. If that's what the